When should you stop or modify an exercise during pregnancy? Hi, I'm Hannah with Noonan Sports Specialist, and today I am talking about the second trimester. During your second trimester of pregnancy, you are going to need to make some changes to your training program if you haven't already. So that bench press might become an incline bench press. That back squat, goblet squat, or body weight squat might become a squat down to the box. Now, the goal is to have a healthy pregnancy and a safe delivery. So today I want to talk about what it means to really know your body and understand the cues that it's telling you. For those of you that like to just crush a workout, feel super sore and awful and like puke afterwards, these four signs are for you. This is not what we want, especially during pregnancy. If you feel any dizziness, nausea, vaginal bleeding, or decreased fetal movement, these are all signs that your body's telling you that something needs to change. Now, especially with dizziness and nausea, those are signs where your body's like, okay, hold on, let's take a moment and evaluate, you know, is this the position I'm in? At how many reps I'm doing? What weight I'm doing? Do we just need to modify this exercise? When I was pregnant, doing a bench press flat on my back, I got super dizzy, super nauseous. Just changing that flat bench press to an incline, I felt a lot better. So that doesn't mean that you have to get rid of your favorite exercise. You just need to be able to stop and listen to what your body is telling you. Now with those last two, vaginal bleeding and decreased fetal movement, you should always talk to your doctor. That is something where your training session ends and you go talk to your doctor. And any of these four points in their severest forms, you should consult your doctor because they know better than you do. As always, you want a healthy pregnancy and a safe delivery. Trust your gut. If something doesn't feel good, don't do it. Thank you.